Hi. Ah. Uh, well, now, I thought I... It's about the doll. You see? I'm a big fan of Lieutenant Columbo. It's that simple. I think he's number one. He's tops. We're going to be working on a minor chord today. We're going to take a C-sharp minor and also an F-sharp minor chord. And on the F-sharp minor chord, we're going to change up our scale option to something really cool. What we're going to be doing is playing the blues scale a whole step above, and we're going to be a detective. There's a question. Lieutenant Columbo, what was he? Was he a detective? He seems to be one. He detected. Would it be like Detective Columbo? I don't know. Anyway, I thought he was awesome. Um, there were so many good episodes to go, like, to list. Basically, everyone was a great episode. I loved them. I really did. Uh, Peter Falk was the best. So, even in The Princess Bride, he was kind of awesome. It was, it was crazy. So, here, here's the deal. We're going to take this chord progression from the band All That Remains. I know some of you guys might or might not be familiar with this band. Uh, I was recently asked to help somebody with a song from them. And it's the song, What If I Was Nothing. I think the grammar should have been, What If I Were Nothing. But I really don't care. Wait, what? What are you doing up? The song is What If I Were Nothing from the band All That Remains. We're going to take a little bit of their chord progressions. We're going to go C sharp minor, E major, F sharp minor add nine to an A sus and a B sus type of thing. But here's the thing that, that C sharp minor is also going to be like a sus too. So, it, I mean, it doesn't matter because we're playing it as a C sharp minor anyway. So here's how that goes. We're going to be going. That's the sort of thing. And once the backing track gets going, we're going to play over this. But here's what we're going to actually be doing. We're going to take what you would normally play comfortably would be uh, even the lead guitar part in the song is up in this sort of range up there. So you could look at this as your E major or your Aeolian or your C sharp, which people might call C sharp minor, whatever. I hate that word. So go like this. Those sorts of things. Uh, and if you're a Columbo fan, you might play a little bit differently. You might be playing like. So we're going to take this E major scale. Right? Um, you could also do this. You could, you could also do a C sharp minor pentatonic. C sharp minor blues, you know, stuff. All right, but here's the thing. Once it comes to the E major chord, we're just going to emphasize the E. Probably an E major triad sort of thing. And then on the third chord, this F sharp minor add ninth sort of thing I think that we got going on here. Um, that's where things are gonna get really interesting. We're going to force, in a nice way, we're going to force ma'am, one more thing. We're gonna force uh, a major. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna take this F sharp, minor add nine, and we're gonna shove forcibly Root for a shove. We're gonna we're gonna force. We're gonna force that. We're gonna force an A sharp over that F sharp minor add nine. So we're forcing a major third on it. So what would you call it? Something like an F sharp minor add nine add sharp nine. That sounds wrong. That's not what I would name it. There's probably a much better name than that. If you know you're gonna be jamming here like they do in the actual song. 
By the way, if you're not a fan of that band, I, I, I don't care. It, it has nothing to do with the band or their song. This is just some kind of a, of a chord progression. I quick said, last minute I said, you know what, that's a chord progression. Let's just take one of the minor chords and do that. So it's, it doesn't matter. You can do this for any song you want. In this one in particular, the chord progression is really emphasizing a straight up E major scale. So I thought it'd be a challenge. So we're forcing this scale that you would definitely only stick to the E major sound on uh, with your C sharp Aeolian. And what happens is we're forcing them because if we're, we were going, now we're going that note. All right, so instead of now going, but I really like to emphasize when this th thing happens. So we're gonna go straight minor. Here come. And right back. You can't stick it too long because the chord starts going to the minor third stronger than that. Now let's do the full scale. So remember, we're going to be going E flat, or you could say D sharp, blues. Here it goes. All right, so we'll take our C sharp, E major, F sharp minor, and I with the major third, and then back down. Some cases, even though it temporarily sounds good, you have to watch out. I mean, if it sounds good, that's fine. Do whatever you're gonna do, but you have to be careful because um, your eyes might deceive you. You might think, oh, this is just like a Dorian thing, I've done this. Because you're used to this pattern. So you think, oh, that's my Dorian above my tone set. Uh, when, however, we're doing this. We're doing a, uh, E flat blues, even though we're not emphasizing it, and it doesn't sound like a blues scale idea, because our tonal center of our song is a whole step below it, which is definitely strange sounding. And also the chord that we're using is giving you three options, because we have our nine, we have our minor third, 
and our major third at the same time. You could go, you could go sus two, you could go major third, or minor third, because they're all contained here. So it's a very strange thing I did, but going from here is a cool fusion-y type of sound. And over this chord progression, whenever you get this add nine, you could, you could do that, drop it down um, like that to your minor six. That'll sound cool too. So I think it's a good idea to keep your mind and your ears open for all different possibilities. Uh, going forward, some things might not seem like they're going to fit uh, until you find a way, you know. So to recap, we're taking the C sharp Aeolian sound progression on this F sharp minor at nine thing. What we're doing is we're playing E flat or D sharp blues sort of stuff, so. All right, so let's try this backing. You guys play along. Remember on that chord, just try it. See what you think. See what you think of that major six sound above your root.
Uh, just one more thing. Uh, you want to look at this visually too and say, okay, this is my root with my index here, my tonal center rather of the whole song or chord progression or whatever part of a song. Tonal center's there. I know that this is my major six here. I know this is my minor six. My minor seven. Here's my five. Here's my three. Here's my minor third. And my nine. And my five. My sharp five. My sharp four flat five. Minor third, major third. You start getting used to positions um, of where your fingers go and you should know those intervals. If you don't, you should practice that. You should figure that out a little bit. There's lots of ways and in the future we'll probably do some video stuff for you on those things so you can get better at it. But this has been Columbo.